Okay, I'm Hannah Beasley. I am a junior and a biology major. Um, so, yeah. So, for this problem, we have a projectile that's launched at 60 meters per second at an angle of 30 degrees, um, and then it lands on a hillside four seconds later. So, our first step is going to be to draw the picture for this problem. So, we're going to have our, our y axis going up and then our x axis. Um, go in horizontally and then we have our ground and then our projectile or our velocity is 60 meters per second and then this angle is 30 degrees and then we have our projectile launched uh, to the a hillside where it lands four seconds later Okay, so for part A, we're going to be finding the V max, uh, which is going to be right here. So for part A, we're going to break it down into the X and Y components. So for the Y component, we're going to have um, oh, for the initial velocity, it's going to be 60 sine 30, which is going to equal 30 meters per second. And then for the X component, we're going to have VO equals 60 cosine 30, which is 51.96 meters per second. So because we're finding the V max, it's good, the velocity is going to be zero at this point. And there, it's not going to get any higher. So we're going to have to rely on our X component. And it's going to be, this is going to be the same as the X component. So the answer for part A is going to be 51.6 meters per second. Not 60 meters per second. Okay. And then for part B, we're going to break it down into the X and Y components again, but for specifically at four seconds. So our y component is, the equation we're going to use is the v initial times t plus one half a t squared. v o times t plus one half a t squared. And then to plug in, we're going to have 30 times 4. And this 30 is from the y component from part a. And plus one half and then our acceleration constant and four squared. And then that part, the y component for the four, at four seconds is 41.6 meters. And this is our h. And then for the x component, we're going to use V initial times T. So this is our D. Um, and we're finding, I don't know if I said this, but we're finding the X, the straight line distance between when it was launched and when it landed at four seconds. So we're gonna use the X component from part A, which is 51.96 times four, which is gonna equal 207.84 meters. And then we have to combine those to get the total distance. So we're going to do the d equals the square root of the y squared plus the x squared, which is square root of 41.6 squared plus 207.84 squared which is going to equal 211.96 meters. And that's the answer to part B for the straight line distance between when it was launched and when it landed on the hill four seconds later.